Okay, we are now live on Facebook. Today is March 12, and it is our day 10 for Draw the Circle 40-Day Prayer Challenge. And we are blessed that we have with us to read Mr. Dan Creasy. Mr. Dan Creasy, please take it away. Okay, I'll read this from day 10 and then I'll pass it back to Pastor Nova for the prayer after that. Um, okay, this is called Crazy Faith. This woman is driving me crazy. That's from Luke chapter 18, verse 5. <clears throat> I love the parable of the persistent widow. I don't mean any disrespect, but I think persistent is a nice word for crazy. This woman is crazy, but when the cause is a righteous one, it's a holy crazy. We aren't told what injustice took place, but she was on a mission. Maybe her son was falsely imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. Maybe the man who molested her daughter was still on the streets. We don't know for sure, but whatever it was, she wouldn't take no for an answer, and the judge knew it. The judge knew she would circle his house until the day she got justice or the day she died. The judge knew there was no quit in the crazy woman. Does the judge know that about you? How desperate are you for the blessing, the breakthrough, the miracle? Desperate enough to pray through the night? How many times are you willing to circle the promise? Until the day you die? How long will you knock on the door of opportunity? Until your knuckles are raw? Until you knock the door down? Like Honey the circle maker, the persistent widow's methodology was unorthodox. She could have, and technically should have, waited for her day in court. Going to the personal residence of the judge crossed a professional line. I'm almost surprised the judge didn't file a restraining order against her. But this reveals something about the nature of God. God couldn't care less about protocol. If he did, Jesus would have chosen the Pharisees as his disciples. But that isn't who Jesus honored. Jesus honored the prostitute who crashed a party at a Pharisee's home to anoint his feet. Jesus honored the tax collector who climbed a tree in his three-piece suit just to get a glimpse of him. Jesus honored the four friends who cut in line and cut a hole in someone's ceiling to help their friend. And in this parable, Jesus honored the crazy woman who drove a judge crazy because she wouldn't stop knocking. The common denominator in each of these stories is crazy faith. People took desperate measures to get to God and God honored them for it. Nothing has changed. God is still honoring spiritual desperados who crash parties and climb trees. God is still honoring those who defy protocol with their bold prayers. God is still honoring those who pray with audacity and tenacity. And the crazy woman is selected as the gold standard when it comes to praying hard. Her unrelenting persistence was the only difference between justice and injustice. The viability of our prayers is not contingent on scrabbling the 26 letters of the English alphabet into the right combinations like abracadabra. God already knows the last punctuation mark before we pronounce the first syllable. The viability of our prayers has more to do with intensity than vocabulary. It has more to do with what we do than what we say. Don't just pray about it, act on it. <clears throat> there are defining moments in life when we need to prove to God that we mean business. And I don't mean business as usual. In fact, it's only when business as usual goes out of business that we're in business, the Father's business. Mm -hmm. That's when we're on the verge of a spiritual breakthrough. Crazy is normal. Josh Sexton pastors a church plant in North Carolina called Relevant Truth Church. God is doing amazing things at RTC. People who wouldn't darken the doorway of a church are finding a relationship with Jesus Christ 
at an indoor skate park that has been converted into a sanctuary. But like many church plants, there is more vision than, mo than money. <clears throat> RTC was facing the termination of their lease if they couldn't come up with the $3,500 rent when Josh got an idea while reading The Circle Maker. One of the leaders at RTC re relayed what happened. Josh asked me to come to the front during a worship service. He handed me a can of spray paint and asked me to paint a circle on stage. That's when Josh told us he wasn't going to leave the circle until God made provision for the church. With his wife's blessing, he brought in a bed and ordered a port -John. All he had was his Bible and his prayer journal. Three times a day, his wife brings him meals. My wife and I live down the street, so we're helping with the kids. I think Josh came to the place of desperation. If this thing was going to work, God was going to have to show up and show off. I really think he is planning on staying in that circle until God does something huge. Crazy, huh? Crazy, or maybe it's not crazy. Maybe our normal is so subnormal that normal seems abnormal. Maybe we need a new normal. Bold prayers and big dreams are normal. Anything less is subnormal. And when bold prayers become the norm, so do the miraculous breakthroughs that follow. I know there may be naysayers who find fault with Josh's approach, <clears throat> but sometimes you need to do something crazy, something risky, something dramatic. That's what Honey the Circle Maker did when he drew a circle in the sand and declared that he wouldn't come out until it rained. The Sanhedrin almost excommunicated him because they thought his prayer was too bold. But you cannot argue with the miracle, can you? His radical prayer resulted in rain. And Honey was ultimately honored for the prayer that saved a generation. For the record, the Sanhedrin still exists in every organization, every denomination, in every church. But don't let the nitpickers and naysayers keep you from doing something crazy if you know God has called you to do it. For the record, RTC didn't just get a new lease on their building. They got a new lease on their faith. There's a pattern repeated in scripture. Crazy miracles are the offspring of crazy faith. Normal begets normal. Crazy begets crazy. If we want to see God doing crazy miracles, sometimes we need to pray crazy prayers. Bold prayers honor God and God honors bold prayers. Cool. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Dan. Uh, what do you think about that? When you, while you were reading, what do you think uh, about the story of uh, Pastor Josh uh, making a circle and then not going? Um, if I'm going thinking... to do that in the church, do you think? Um... <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was thinking if you there with the circle around you and you wouldn't leave on <laughs> crazy but i mean it illustrates the, the point be yes. beautifully yes yes i'm not don't, you know yeah we don't always um live in that crazy prayer mode <laughs> as we should yes yes yeah. but you know um that's the beauty of this book it uh, gives us, it literally is says what God's uh, miracle can do in, in our lives. And um, I, think we, I think we need to go back to being crazy, crazy for God, you know, crazy doing, uh, crazy praying, crazy doing God's work. You know, um, I want to... Um, challenge everybody you know because this is what uh we we were doing uh pastor don miss jane miss beverly uh every day we we are walking and we are giving uh popcorn to all houses so uh I am challenging everybody to donate uh popcorn <laughs> uh plastic individually wrapped so that we can 
uh, distribute it. You see, all houses, our goal is to have all houses receive a popcorn with that we, with a sticker saying that if they have a prayer request, they can call us and they are welcome to join us on our church worship. It's crazy. And then Miss Elaine Oshius said, why don't you put in the wording, why don't you pop up in the church one time? <laughs> That's a nice uh, idea, right? Yeah, like popcorn, our prayers is crazy for That's God awesome. to really put pop up souls. But it's, I believe that uh, with God, nothing is too hard right so we pray we pray we continue to pray we keep on praying we keep on praying because we believe that when we pray god listens and god answers let us pray gracious and loving amazing faithful wonderful god lord we come to you with praise and thanksgiving thank you for all the wonderful prayers that you answered it might be crazy prayers but lord we dream big because we believe that you are a mighty god we ask big maybe crazy prayers but lord there is nothing that is impossible with you you are a miracle worker so lord we continue to come to you we continue lord to acknowledge you in our midst we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of love. Lord, thank you for every little things in our lives that you are concerned of. Every little details in our lives that you provide for us every day. Thank you. You are really a living God. And Lord, we continue to live up to you our prayer request. Lord, we lift up our healthcare workers. I will also, uh, Lord, would, we would like to lift up to you the essential workers, first responders, our food pantry that's going to be on Thursday. Thank you for St. Therese for providing us food. Uh, they will uh, deliver it on Wednesday. We thank you for all our brothers and sisters at St. Therese for being our partner in this food pantry. Lord, we also uh, thank you for all the United Methodist women volunteering for the food pantry. We lift up to you all families affected by COVID-19, Tyler Johnson, Miss Mary Alls, all church members, Lord, we continue to lift up Pastor Dawn for healing, for strength. And Miss Elba, Lord God, we lift up Pablo family. Continue to bless them, Lord. We lift up to you our church renovation, church revival, church vitality. Mm -hmm. We lift up to you, Austin Silva. Continue to make this child grow in your likeness and strengthen him, Lord God. We lift up to you, Ukraine the people of your ukraine for peace lord god and we lift up russia that in this situation may your name be glorified we lift up to you robert bilela matthew and alexi we lift up to you our senior students dustin and guy and their parents we lift up to you miss elaine Oshis, miss janet hankel miss mr mike johnston continue to to be with him and may you provide the family with the help that they need. Lord, we lift up to you, Todd, Melissa, Nicole, our mayor, Linda, our chief of police, Fred Seuss, the chief of fire department, our borough clerk, Miss Laura. We lift up our District School Superintendent Kyle Arlington. We lift up all organizations in Kenilworth. Lord God, Rotary Club and all organizations, bless them. Use them for your glory, Lord God. And bless all the leaders and members of these organizations, of these clubs. 
We lift up the people and community of Kenilworth. We lift up to you even the neighboring towns, Lord God, even all the towns that we have members lord all our members wherever they are we ask that you continue to use them effectively and mightily for your glory wherever they go whatever they do lord god may your name be glorified in their lives we live up to you lord our church need for liturgies counters children's time leaders, Lord, please bring people to lead in the church. We thank you and we lift up to you those who are celebrating their birthday uh, this March, David, Miss Elaine, Alec Diaz, Miss Janie here, Miss Marilyn Pagan, is, to, today is her birthday, bless her, Lord God, Miss Rose Dwelly, Dr. Guy, Ms. Nati, Risha, Lord God, bless them, continue to use them effectively and mightily. And Lord, we pray for though the readers and our worker, walkers. We thank you for Mr. Don Creasy for reading us today, uh, the day 10, Crazy Faith. Lord, we live up to you all uh, who, who read us who, who lead us in prayer and who will lead us in the future in reading, Lord God, and in prayer. Thank you because we believe, Lord, that when we ask, we will receive. When we seek, we will find. And when we knock, the door will be opened. It is your promise, Lord God, that if we come to you and ask you according to your will, you will give it to us. And we believe, Lord, that it is your will for us to go and make disciples, Lord. Help us. <clears throat> and Lord, bless each and every one of us. Yeah. We thank you, Lord God, because you are a living God, mm -hmm. a mighty God. Yeah. You never slumber. You never sleep. Mm. You are always there mm. listening to us and looking mm. and caring for us. And we thank you, Lord. And Lord, all of us, we want to give you back all the glory, honor, and praises. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Excuse me. And thank you, everybody, for your presence thank you thank you for um tonight and always keep on praying keep on praying keep on praying stay Amen. in love with god with your neighbor with nature and with yourself and keep on praying and um thank you so much uh teaching to your earning miss jane pablo at Noemi will donate Two boxes of popcorn. Woo That's going to be 36 homes. <laughs> because oh, okay. one box is 18 uh, homes. So 36 oh. homes. Thank you, Miss Beverly, Miss Robin, Pastor Don, Miss Janet Henkel, Miss Jane Riley, Miss Janet Crow, and of course, Mr. Don Chrissy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.